I've had some questions from YouTubers about just what is the difference between resistance and impedance. So I'm going to use this setup, a uh, 12 volt AC supply and a 12 volt DC supply to light up a light bulb and in between those two power supplies notice that they're connected together with a common ground so all I have to do is connect one or the other up in the circuit but what I need to find is a resistor and a coil that have about the same resistance and I did find a resistor and a coil that are pretty close to about 75 ohms. Okay, let's check the ohms of these two items here, a resistor and this coil. Now I've got the other leads taped, isolated from each other and then taped out of the way. This should be about a 75 ohm resistor here. And it reads 76.6 or dot .5. And the coil here reads a little less, 73.6.7, close enough. So here's the setup I'm going to use. My Heathkit trainer is going to supply the 12 volts DC. And here I have a small 12 volt AC transformer for the other part of the power supply. And here in the lower right, this is the common ground connection between the two power supplies and the light bulb that we're going to use. Okay, here's our 12 volts DC, here's our 12 volts AC, and let's start with the DC, 75 ohm resistor. Of course it doesn't light up as bright. Okay. DC in this coil. About the same. Okay, let's go to AC. 75 ohm resistor in AC. Okay, and now through the coil. The impedance of that coil on AC is so high, the bulb won't light at all. Go back through DC on the coil. Then that so it stays on there. There's DC. Here's AC. I'm going to run the video again 
this time with the wiring diagram. Okay, here's our 12 volts DC. Here's our 12 volts AC. And let's start with the DC, 75 ohm resistor. Of course, it doesn't light up as bright. Okay. DC in this coil. About the same. Okay. Let's go to AC. 75 ohm resistor in AC. Okay, and now through the coil, the impedance of that coil on AC is so high, the bulb won't light at all. Go back through DC on the coil. Then that so it stays on there. There's DC. Here's AC. So what this demonstration showed was with DC, a resistor and a coil will pass current enough to light the light bulb but when we went to AC the resistor still passed enough current to light the light bulb but the coil had such a high impedance or resistance to AC that the bulb did not light Thanks for watching.